G'day, comrade, and welcome back to the Republic with me, Comrade JD. In our last episode, we spent most of our time working on a waste transfer plant that now serves our garbage needs. It does all the waste sorting for us. It also saves all our garbage trucks driving all over the Republic to drop waste here, there, and everywhere. We also upgraded our little waste sorting system, so it does a couple of things, mainly, well, pulls out all the construction waste, also all the other important metal scrap, plastic waste, all that sort of stuff, sells that at the border, and, well, burns everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can now burn all our trash, even if it has to pass through the incinerator twice and become extra crispy. We also managed to get liquid fertilizer up and running for our farms, and we've added a whole bunch of extra trucks to the farm as well to try and bring in crops faster. But today, I want to get on a new project. It's a very important project that you cannot tell anybody from the NATO countries about, because today, we're going to be getting the oil. An awful lot of oil, there's an awful lot we need to cover, which is going to be the main topic of today's episode. There are a couple of things that did happen between the episodes, but with this being episode number 20, I need to ask a very important question. And of course, the very important question being, well, you're in episode 20 of a Let's Play. You've clicked subscribe by now, right? For the good of the Republic, you should have subscribed. So, let's start with a couple of things that happened between episodes. First off, I put in a uh, transfer station right here to make sure that our construction waste was definitely pulled out. Otherwise, there was a chance it was going to go round and round circles. I didn't want that. And I figured, look, I'll just throw this in here and that'll solve the problem. It did mean some rearranging of some pipes and some, you know, sewage plants and all that sort of stuff. It was in the way, so we just got that done between episodes. Uh, can I pull that back up so I can see the buttons and you can see the buttons too? Uh, also, uh, over at Crops, I've added in another, another, another medium distribution center. Uh, and if we bring up our overlays resources, 3,000 meters, and we look at Crops, we can see, well, I've already attached it to a couple of farms, and I'm actually going to attach it to... Well, that farm, that farm, and that farm. Yeah, because that way, as soon as the trucks roll in, they're going to roll back out and they're going to start getting stuff done. We are still running a dirt road here. I do want to upgrade that road, but that's going to have to, ha have to happen during the winter months. We do have an awful lot of trucks coming through, and I added also another unload station because it was also being a bottleneck. Realistically, the roads are a bottleneck. Honestly, I'd really like to redo the whole farming system, but I'll have to wait for farm version 2.0. Another thing I had is I had a whole bunch of profits. Uh, as you can see, last month was 160 odd thousand rubles. Uh, what did I do with all those profits this month? Well, I spent them. I spent them all on vehicles. Oh, we've added a couple of new construction vehicles here and there, just filled out the ranks a little bit more. Also, obviously, filled out the brand new distribution offers with a whole bunch of vehicles as well. So we basically spent it on vehicles. But that's okay. We're making rubles more often than we're losing rubles. Uh, we do also have you. Construction train has made some progress uh you're on the road right now uh has made some progress we're trying to get him oh he's doing it now he we're trying to get him to finish off these two tracks finish off uh no high priority please and also high priority please yep finish off this section because i'd really like to signal all this up and i have now confirmed uh, that four and a half kilometers is about here so he no longer auto searches any of these tracks. So I need to come along manually every now and then and just see, is there any new tracks he can build? If there is, I need to tell him to build them. A little bit frustrating. We end up moving the route construction office in the future, but not right now. What we are going to be doing right now is we're going to be getting the oil. And right at the moment, the only place I'm using oil right now is these two chemical plants. I'm going to continue using oil here, but, 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 um, we have a few other things that I'd like to do with oil. I also need to look at research really quickly. Actually, there's one more research I think we need. So, uh, the medical university can get the hospital helicopters because that sounds like a good idea. Uh, the small headquarters, we're going to grab uh, 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 tourist visa, tourist visa. Can I slow that right the way down because we're not in a rush for it? But I think if we're going to get oil, obviously we need to research a refinery. So we're going to get refineries up and running, probably not for today's episode, but probably for the next episode. Uh, at the same time, I do have 700 people that don't have a flat to live in, so we need to build two more houses. Uh, this is filling out very quickly. There's an awful lot to do here, and I do need to mention very quickly, uh, show overlays, you power. This little power pole here is going red sometimes which I have tracked down is leading to this particular substation not getting any power, which keeps giving us the notice that the heating plant doesn't have any heating. So what I need to do to solve that problem is come underground and I need to electrical wires, uh, cancel wires. Can I cancel 
that. And I need to assign that to the deconstruction officers. Yes, please. Uh, Okie dokie. And tell me when you're done. And then I need to add a second wire from here into here. And then I need to disconnect the rest of this wire going up to one of these substations. And then wire in off this uh, this switch instead. Yeah, I just need to spread the power a little bit better over here. Power is something we're going to look at in a lot more depth in a future episode. But for right now, uh, I need to get out to here. Because out here is where our oil field is. At least uh, that's where the map says it is. So if I bring up this and I turn on the oil overlay and I drag this out a little bit, we can see that I have oil. Uh, objects. I have some oil here. We can tell by the green. Green. We can also see over here, I have some more oil. And that leads into, here we can see it. One patch sort of leads into the next patch, which then sort of keeps going this way and leads into the next patch. And then the last patch of oil is all the way over here. So I have an awful lot of oil that I want to tap. But for right now, uh, we need to go over some rules. Some basic rules when it's going to come to oil. Can you go away? Uh, first basic rule I need to go over is oil. We're going to get seven tons worth of oil for zero workers, but a little bit of power. Uh, 114 kilowatts each pump jack. Plus, there's other infrastructure we're going to need to add. So, we're going to need a tiny bit of power to run each one of these guys. Uh, and these are going to give seven tons each if they're on 100% quality of source. Now, obviously, ooh, I, I immediately find a 99. Okay. Obviously, finding 100% is going to be difficult. The, the chances are going to be pretty slim. So, what I need to do is I need to space these guys out in a way that I get reasonably good oil coverage. And my first one is actually going to be right here and what we want to do to try and maximize our coverage is we need to start off in a corner which is something stupid to say when the oil sections round i know that but we want to start somewhere and i want to put down my first pump jack and as you can see after the pump jack goes down there's still green area around it and some orange and some you know amber colors but the main thing is the center area is all red because that is the area that this pump jack is directly accessing and then i want to put the next one sort of close to it where the red from this area is going to touch the red from the next area because i want to not maximize the individual pump jacks i want to maximize the amount we get out of the whole field well, that's going to be the plan at least so we're going to put the next one there uh and then i'm going to put the next one about here uh this one is probably going to go here 59 percent yeah uh we're gonna have to flatten things out a little bit and can i flip you there uh, and then I'm going to put one at 92. Probably want to go up a bit. 88. And that way I can get a 59 down here. Yeah. Now if we hover around, we can see we don't have too much that I haven't tapped. Like there's a little bit down here, but that's at 9%. There's a little bit over here at like 30%. Um, okay. I don't even know what percentage you were. But if I slide you this way, it goes down. Okay, so that's at 60. Uh, yeah, really demolished building. 74, 75, 76, 76. So if I slide you a little bit to the right, we get slightly better results. Okay, so we're going to put you there. All right, that's the first thing. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six pump jacks. Now, each pump jack is going to need a couple of things. One, obviously, it's going to need pipe. Two, it's going to need to be pumped because if we grab a pipe and I just run it off a pump jack, they have a maximum distance they can travel before, well, there's no more pressure left. And the distance is around about not, uh, 600 meters. We did do a research to up it because originally it's about 300 meters. This is why I've waited for oil for so long because I really want to have that research and make sure we can pump them a decent distance. So about, not, about 600 meters, which means every 600 meters I need a pump. But... We can do a three in to one out pump, which means I could gather three of these sources together, put them in a pump, grab the next three, put them in a pump, and then combine the two pumps and so on and so forth all the way to, well, no, here. Here is where we're going. But I don't really want to put in that many pumps. So we can do a little cheat. Tiny little cheat, just a little cheat. Uh, can I actually, whilst we're speaking about cheating, can I get this road? to thanks game you timely auto save so well okay is that no uh remove that and remove
of that pit. Can I very quickly just have all the construction crews travel that ship as fast as possible? Uh, and actually, can I put that to there? And that to there. Uh, this is all potentially te uh, temporary. Uh, can I do that one, that one, and that one? Yeah. This is all potentially temporary, but probably more permanent the, the, the more I think about it. All right. So one of the things we can do to cheat the system is we can gather a couple of oils together into an oil tank. And then rather than me having, well, three different pump jacks into one pump, I can do two pump jacks into one tank, two pump jacks into one tank, and then two pump jacks into one tank, and then take one pump and then pump that forward. And that's going to be our plan. I also need to get power and a whole lot of other things out here. We're going to talk about all those in a second. But for right now, I think I just want to get try and get in our oil well storage tanks. And what I want to do is I want to pick a spot. Uh, okay, let's go with you two first. Uh, we're going to hold down control because I don't want to interfere that construction job for that road. Uh, we are going to turn on the game speed and probably max it out. And I'm going to go there to there. Okay, then from here to here, I need to go over the road. I could put these pipes underground, but I'm trying to save money. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press E to raise the pipe up. I'm gonna go over the road, and then I'm gonna bring it. Try again. Cancel. Over the road. Okay, over the road like that. Okay, so I wanna get that done. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to join... Actually, I want to throw in some dirt roads. Uh, you're facing the wrong direction. Can I flip you? Uh, where are we? Liquids. Cancel that. Cancel that. Pick you up. Uh, flip you. 63. There. Okay. Uh, can I grab the pipe? We're going to bring you up to height 11 across to there and then into there Oop. can i approve that as well all right can i go to this job before i forget about it and that's been disconnected so i need to come in here medium voltage wire hold down shift and just remove the whole thing uh definitely mark it for deconstruction and we're going to auto accept everybody who wants to help meanwhile go above ground and i just want to put another the biggest wire i have from there there to there works in the opposite direction and get that built okay uh and then once that deconstruction is done which i'm gonna say notify me once that's done i will then only then uh will i then run a new wire across to the substation so it still has power okay so back to this story uh all right so i want to have uh no i want to have a dirt road which well that's gonna plug in there that's gonna plug in there so let's just bring well you to there yep and then can i plug you okay no i can't plug you oh you're on a mountain okay so uh mountain i can go across the mountain we can do a zigzag like i'm, I'm sure you've driven through a mountainside with lots of zigzag roads but this is for construction group so because it's for construction group i have no issue doing lots of small piece of road if you build small piece of road the game doesn't sort of realize that you're going straight up a cliff uh so we're going to build lots of small bits of road and then if i look at it and it happens to look like we're going straight up a cliff that's perfectly fine because it's going to be for construction vehicles and they don't care that they're going straight up a cliff uh can we run that too so i really want to tap you in there um yeah okay all right can i grab you uh we're gonna have you uh that direction that direction okay and then i want a pipe uh we're gonna come out of here we're gonna go up to about 11 meters so i can go over the road and then into there yep and then uh this one and this one also need to be combined together can i flip you uh well i'm gonna okay it because it gets one of the pipes done uh but the second pipe is definitely in the wrong spot uh, because these tanks don't have pressure on them so once the oil flows into these tanks uh then the oil's no longer pressurized so then you need to repressurize it with another pump uh so that's something you need to keep in mind uh you guys should be really fast to do 
well, reasonably fast too. Help, I'm even allowing workers on site. I don't mind. I just want the job done. All right. So I need to get all this tapped together. Uh, we're also going to need, obviously, the pumps, as I mentioned. Uh, we're going to go with liquids. We're going to go with a three in, one out. And I need to grab from here, from here, and from here. But I also need to leave room open for future pumps. Um, so what I'm actually doing is I'm going to grab off this one and this one. And then I'm going to need another pump for this one right here. So we're going to start with you uh, right there. And then I'm going to grab an underground pipe. because It's going to be easy to measure with an underground pipe. I'm going to build this pipe because we can see very rapidly. Uh, that's like 7,000 work days, 8,000 work days, 9,000. Yeah, pass, pass. But it gives us our length. That's the part that I want. Uh, uh, then we're going to go back into three to one pumping station. Uh, we're going to be putting you here on the top of a hill. Uh, can I turn off that? Okay. And then we'll work out how we're going to get pipes and stuff into you in a second uh, and roads. Uh, and then we're going to cancel that pipe. And we're going to turn off that because I don't need to see it. And we're going to go above ground. Okay. So above ground, I need to grab uh well from here i need to keep this off the ground definitely because there's a hill in the way uh we're gonna run you into there because if i just drag this pipe well run it runs across the road uh two it's also going to run into the hill sooner or later so can i get that lined up please uh like so uh up up no uh okay you're gonna snap there and then there's trees in the way trees 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 nature go away okay uh from there keep going yep this way we've got snapping on so it's it's following the other pipe and then i want to tag that in there okay so that's our two pipes third pipe we're gonna go i hope i have the distance to go around that uh hill causing obstruction so that means it's clipped into the hill we need to raise it up uh seven meters four meters four meters seems more reasonable and then from there to here and then from there oh 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 from here trees okay pipes cut that back Okay, from there to there. All right, so that's going to be our plan when it comes to our pipes. Uh, and then from there, we can then, well, just run the pipes on to here, eventually. Uh, I'm going to approve all of that so it all gets marked as being built. All right, next thing I'm going to need is, actually, I'm going to need a road. Can I get a road from you? Uh, if I turn on the top of the graphic view, we can see that I should be able to climb down the hill. I can. Uh, down the hill, I want to tap in here down the hill to there can i get that to go across there and then into there cool. all right and i'm gonna pre-gravel that and we're going to join those two rows together and then i'm gonna mark the construction crew to come get this done and hopefully everybody gets on their way uh yeah there's a lot of vehicles on the way perfect uh can i also mark that for upgrading now uh, our gravel roads are bi-directional. The other ones are faster, but they're single directional. So we can have the, the vehicles, especially these giant dump trucks, which have a mopping gravity speed of 35, run down the middle on the gravel, uh, go around the roundabout on the high speed road, and then continue along here on the slower gravel road before turning off on the dirt and then coming and building this. And this is one of the reasons I have, well, all the different road services I do. Surfaces. Yep, yeah, there we go. All right. Next thing is, I'm going to need oil again. So we're going to go back into liquids. Uh, I'm going to, again, use an underground because it's just going to make life easier to do the measurements. Uh, 366. About there. And that's reasonably straight, but not perfectly straight. All right. Now, I could do the same. I could put in a tiny tank here and we'd be pumping out of here. So we'd be forcing pressure into here and then put in another pump, which would be sucking into the next step. But... I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do it on a slightly larger scale. I'm going to be putting in a big tank, a very big tank. And the reason I want a big tank is uh, 
This particular tank holds uh, 1,500 tons worth of oil. This one holds 90. This is good for combining things together. This is less good for combining things together, but really good if you actually want storage at the same time. So we're going to be building one of those. Uh, now, it does say the tank needs power, but I think it only needs power if I actually want vehicles to access it, and I don't really want vehicles to access it. Uh, we're just going to run that pipe dead straight, straight down the hill uh, to here, which is going to need a road, uh, which we're going to tap into... Hmm... I'm going to give me two seconds. All right. Next thing we're going to need is I'm going to need another pump. Uh, we're going to go pipe pumping station, but rather than three in, one out, I'm going to go with one in, three out. And I'm actually going to go to the underground version uh, because I want to put you here and here. I know. I want two of them. Uh, which now means I know exactly where I want that road to go. And the answer is right behind that. Cool. Uh, approved. And construction crews get that done. All right. So our plan is a uh, very, very simple plan. We're going to take our pipe uh, below ground for this one. Because uh, this part is going to be permanent. And I'm going to plug that into there. Everything over here is potentially temporary. Okay. Like I don't really have fire coverage down here. Uh, if I click on... Where's that fire station? Yeah. Um, yeah. We don't really have fire coverage. In fact, we basically don't have fire coverage. If I upgrade that road and that road, we might get lucky. Uh, oh. I know the other one's done. Uh, and then, you know what? Uh, can I do that as well? Yeah. And, you know what? Uh, we'll throw that one as well. Cool. Yeah, it's not built. That's why it doesn't have coverage. But I don't think I'm going to get fire coverage out here. And if I do, it's not going to be great fire coverage. So we're just going to accept that if fire happens out here and a pump jack burns down, a pump jack burns down, we'll just rebuild it. Okay? I don't want to bring people out here to put a fire station out here, to run everything out here. I just don't want the hassle. Okay? We're not going to have the hassle. We're just going to let things burn. Uh, sometimes that's just the way life is. Full of fire. Okay, can I plug that into there? That into there? Can I plug that into there? Can I plug that into there? Can I plug you into there? It'd be great. Uh, can I plug you into there? Over is road connection. It is cool. Build everything, construction crew. Okay. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to bring a pipe through to here, and then from there into this pumping station, which needs a road. I should give you a road and pop okay after we get to here i have three outputs now obviously one of those needs to go with the pump in front the pump in the front we'll, we'll be talking about not in this episode but in a future episode uh i also want to get oil into here and here which might explain why i have a pump with two extra outputs that we're not going to plan for but also want a buffer now these guys do have a buffer of 20 tons worth of oil but once again they have a suction force they're going to suck in oil from a tank. So I could, uh, where are we? Uh, liquids. I could put two of these in and I could pump from our little pump into two of these, which then would run into here. And you know, they'd have 90, 90, 90, 90 tons worth of oil as an option. Okay. As a, some sort of storage that they get both access. My other option is this one. Now this one is slightly different in the fact that it has, uh, well, two ins and four outs, which is really what I'm looking for. Because uh, the other one has, well, two ins and one out. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get an underground uh, to go from there to there. Very complicated. Then I'd like to get an underground to go from there to there, which is not going to work straight up. And you're also not going to work straight up. Okay. Can I try going that end to that end? No. All right. So I need to bring you down to three meters underground. And then from there into there. And then from here to, again, ugh. there's a lot of stuff in the way. Six minutes in the ground. And then to here, and then to here. Oh, approved. Because you have your input right on the side of this tank above ground. Same with these guys. We can see the pipes are coming up above the ground. Uh, their inputs are above ground, which is unfortunate because you're a below ground station. So your pipes are conveniently hidden out of the way where I don't have to worry about them. Uh, but I also need to get that plugged in there. 
Cool. Uh, and can I also get a dirt path in there so we can get uh, seven? All of that built. Okay. Now, I still have one port left here. Plus, I have three ports here. Three ports here. We're going to be north for now. There are for future, uh, a future plans for a future episode, as in the next episode. For this guy, well, I have one plan, and the one plan is under the power network. Uh, we have access to the gas power plant. The gas power plant uses up to 8.8 .8 tons of oil per day and uh, is going to produce, if we look down there, circuit breaker, 17 megawatts worth of power. I'd like one of these. Uh, and I may have conveniently measured and planned miles in advance to know that you will slide in uh, right here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to hold down control because I don't want to give you a good road. Uh, just a gravel road is more than enough. Now worry about the building on fire. Uh, approve? No, okay, find the approve button. Okay, and then can I have the crew build that? Uh, building's on fire. It is the food factory. Well, the fire trucks are there already, so it's fine. Okay, so I want to build a power plant. Now, power plant's obviously going to need an oil connection. Uh, so we're going to, once again, go underground and grab an oil connection. I'm going to try and get this right. Uh... Can I go, we might actually, do you have, you don't have resources on site. Okay, can I cancel that and can I run that into there, works for me. And then this one I want to run to, okay. I have to come out of there, super tight. Uh, at negative six meters and then run from there to here. Cool. You will have a suction on you, so I could hook you straight into this tank as well. But uh, if we have a look at the power plant itself, it has an internal storage tank of uh, 200 tons. Now, if it's sucking from a tank, i.e. it's not pressurized, then that internal buffer is never going to fill up, which would be a waste. So. That is our plan. We're going to get oil. We're going to pump it to here. From here, we're going to pump it into here. Uh, we're also going to pump it into a great big power plant. It's going to make us a whole bunch of power. And we're going to plug that in the network. But, 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 uh, we're short a couple of things. Just a few minor things. Uh, the first main th main minor thing we're short on is power. Uh, crap. Uh, can you not auto search construction? And we're just going to delete everything. Yeah, and then I'm going to press that button. Cool. All right. First thing I've shot on is power. Uh, so I'm going to put in a power transformer, and I'm going to click and hold the button to flatten that out, because that's why you guys are parked there, for that exact reason of being able to put that in easily. All right, next thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need power into this transformer. 10 megawatts should be heaps, possibly. I'm planning on rearranging the power network in the future, so if it's not enough, we'll worry about it then. All right, from here, I'm going to need a substation. So I'm going to need a substation, preferably one that can sit here and power all of this. And this looks like a really good spot that happens to hit just about and absolutely everything. Now, you needed, what was it, 100 and oil each pump jack needed what? Uh, 114 kilowatts. And each tank needs 50 kilowatts and i have three of them so it's like 150 i have six of those it's like a megawatts worth of power plus i have two, 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 uh the i uh, know it's of liquids it's under you guys you need 150 each i get two of those so i need uh, about a megawatt and a half uh so we're gonna grab a well i now know that i need to put in Probably the 1.5 megawatt wire. We could just put in the 2.35 to cover us, and I think that's what we're going to do. But before I do that, I want to put in a medium voltage switch. And the reason I want to put in a switch is you only have six outputs, and I prefer to save those six outputs, so to speak, and use them for multiple projects. So we're going to dump you here. I'm going to give you fine quality dirt. 
because uh, we only use the best quality dirt here in the Republic. I'm going to run this into here. I'm also going to run a second one uh, to the same spot and then into there as well. And then I'm going to run from here into the yeah, buildings in the way. I can see the buildings in the way. It's the substation into there. Cool. And we're going to approve all those. All right. I'm going to make sure that that is marked to be built as well. That's all marked to be built. And then we should have power into that guy. Up here, I have one single pump. One single pump uh, is going to need a power connection. Is that right, done? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's going to need a power connection, but it needs a very tiny power connection. It needs to do just the pump jack, which is like one point something. Uh, so... No, I was 100 and... What was the pump again? 100 and something? 150? Uh, no, it's under liquids, pumps, uh, 149. Okay, so we're going to get the cheapest, crappiest wires, because uh, this is megawatts, and the other one is just watts, so or kilowatts rather, and we're going to plug that into there. And we're going to approve that as well. Okay, we're going to build that. Mm, nope, we're not going to build that. We're going to cancel that footpath, and you get a uh, high quality Republic Dirt, and then we're going to build that. Okay. Here, you're going to get nothing. You're just going to get built. You're not going to get power. You guys already had power. And then, well, you're a power station. You'll obviously have power. Uh, gravel's been dropped off. Great. Now I just need some workers to get the actual job done. All right. Two other things we're going to have to do is... I'm going to need to put in a gravel path here. Not so workers can get from the bus stop to here, but actually so we can get our trash from here into this trash dump. Uh, so we're going to need to approve that and then mark that as well. And actually now we are... Uh, can I get you auto-searching 3,000? Uh, auto-searching 3,000. Auto-searching 3,000. You don't find any jobs. Okay, you can jump into there. You can jump into there. Uh, you can jump into there. And thanks to the comment section, I now know I can hold down control and left click on each one of these and I can now uh, open all three of them in a dedicated window each and just tell them all to move back to here. Okay, it is winter, it is December. I have no idea how much of these fields we got done. I didn't get a chance to look, but what I do know is I want to get the asphalt machines out and I want to asphalt that and that's done. Uh, I want to do that and I want to do that because that doesn't lose anybody's access to anything uh, and I want to I need you guys to stop driving back and forth uh, we can do that because it's just going to force the trucks to drive around uh, we can also do that one and that one uh, you... Okay. Alright, can I apply that? You drive, you now force drive all the way up because I did that. That's fine. Alright. That, 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 that. I need you guys to finish, like, dropping off, filling up the whole works. And I also need to tell my train... Uh, can you... So you're going to stock, then Vitavostok, and then to the Vodka Fruit Farms. Okay. Uh, so your very next stop is the Vodka Fruit Farms, which means you shouldn't overfill. But yes, we went for one in every four visits. We're now down to one in every, every three visits. visits. Eventually, we get down to one in every two visits, um, but not right yet. Okay. So you should have power. You should have power. You should have power. You need to be built, which your road is now done. You can now be assigned to be built. And you're going to do me a couple of things. First off, you're going to output power. You're going to output 17 megawatts worth of power, which is good because I now have 18 megawatt power poles. But I want to do a couple of things with the power. Uh, first off, we need to talk about power just a little bit. So if I come to here and I just get these to light up, uh, normally I switch. We built switches everywhere. So this is switch. Everything is in and out at the same time. They're not directional, okay? Power is not directional in real life. Never is. But 
in works of resources and in real life, you can get priority switches, which are directional. And this is exactly what we put up here at the border. So it means that when I bring things into here, they're going to priority feed this way. They'll technically feed backwards as well, but I can't have something on the right hand side of the grid being inside the Republic feeding out into the left hand side of the public. It is one directional. It's only going to go from left to right. So I want to abuse that and make sure that I can bring power and potentially sell it at the border, make some ribbles. Also, I want to make sure that we plug into here and we set the new power connections, which will be number three, obviously, as high input. And no, number one will be high input and number three being, well, from the Rusky border, will not be high input. So first thing I want to do is uh, three things. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to put in a switch. I'm going to have a whoppy grabby six way switch and I'm going to be putting you here, I hope. Mm, here, I hope. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to do is we've done the research for a foreign power connection, which conveniently I want to put right here. The idea is uh, I can rather than try to run the power over there and do export the power over there, I'm going to do it right here. Uh, we're going to run this road into there. I'm going to run you into there. I'm also going to put in a second switch. Uh, this one... No, 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 no. Okay, you are going to... Oh, I can only build one of them. That's why I can't select it. Uh, can I cancel? No, let's cancel railway. Cancel roads. That cool. Uh, can I put in where are we? Power. Uh, really? I placed it and cancelled it, and now I I gotta research it again. Oh, that sucks. Cancel. Yep. Okay, max that out. I'm gonna have to research it again. It's fine. Uh, it probably won't take too long. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a foreign power connection, which would be going right about there, but I need to move you uh, to my right. Uh, so we're gonna put you here. We're gonna put a second one, probably directly opposite it. Yeah, okay. Uh, I wanna have a big voltage wire, and that's gonna go straight into there. Uh, the second high voltage wire is actually going to go into there. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to put in the roads first. But can I put in the roads? Uh, we're going to go from you to you. Uh, from you to... Here. Yep. And then... Nope. Uh, and then power wires. Big wire is going to go from there to there. One of you guys is going to go to a border connection, which is re-researched. Re uh, and one of you is going to be the primary, one of you is going to be the backup. Like I said, I want to redo the power network in the future because it has no redundancy currently, which is fine unless something catches on fire. Even if it doesn't burn down, you might end up with the whole state being out of power if the wrong thing catches on fire until you put out the fire. Yeah, that'd be bad. I don't want to have that. So what I want to do is we're going to call the one on the left our primary. And I'm going to bring uh, this out to here. I'm going to run it all the way across and into... No, you don't like that, do you? Uh, to there. You do like that. Okay. I'm going to run that to there. Cool. Uh, I am going to have that be marked as built. And that be marked as built. And... Yes. Okay. The other one I don't need built now. We will build that in the future. It's not super important. The actual power connection to the border is way more important. You, I'm going to set the low priority because I'm really not in a rush for this. What I am in a rush for is, well, all the other infrastructure. So this pump, this tank, uh, this tank, uh, all these pipes and things. Now, one of the things that we haven't really dealt with a whole lot up until now is you require mechanical components. You require mechanical components. You require steel and mechanical components uh the pipes require mechanical components so on and so forth mechanical components go in my covered holes my covered holes 
So what I want to do is in this one, which is the one that normally has the excavators in it, we're going to be buying uh, covered hull. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, these travel at 88 kilometers. If I sort by speed, the fastest vehicles travel at 90. So we might as well get one that travels at 88 and carries a crap ton of stuff. Rather than take a little one that, that drives around 90, but only holds half a ton's worth. I want a lot more than half a ton's worth. So I'm going to grab four of those guys. We're going to park them in there. Uh, they're going to take a minute to get here and then a minute to get back to the border to buy stuff and then a minute to get back to here, but they're going to help. They're going to help an awful lot. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're waiting for, well, this to be built, this to be built, this to be built, all of this to be built, uh, that to be built. And of course it's winter, which is when things happen the slowest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a cut and I'll see you, well, after the ground falls a little bit and the construction jobs. Are all done winter's over and well we've got an oil field up and running now it's not running terribly well don't get me wrong there's not a lot of oil here but there's a start and that's what we really need so we have obviously these two pump checks going to this tank uh, this tank is being picked up by this pump which is then well being pumped forward it does have room for two more slots but we're probably only going to be using one from the next oil field uh we do have this tank obviously collecting these two going pump forward uh this one collecting these two being pumped forward which is bringing us to here which is moving about half a ton worth of oil per second into this tank which is then being sucked by this pump which is currently well just putting everything in here now with us getting oil into here it does mean that these two buildings have access to oil but you might notice this is still counting down. This is still counting down because, well, even though we have access, we have an internal buffer, which we're using. But that comes from the lack of fuel rats or bringing over oil here directly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop them getting oil from the border. Uh, if there are any trucks on route, they'll finish their route before they, you know, stop. Uh, we're going to cancel uh, filling up this chem plant and that chem plant. The end station's in the middle for some reason. And then, well, actually, you just downloaded oil, I think. Oh, gravel, gravel. Uh, but I noticed you're out of gravel. Can I change you to uh, chem plants? You're set to 30%. Uh, we're going to set you to 50%. Therefore, the trucks leave a little bit more often but hopefully before I run out of gravel. You do 70 kilometers per hour. You do 70, uh, 10 tons, 80, 12 tons, 70. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so we have oil here. Uh, oil is obviously going to flow into these only after they've emptied their internal buffer. Once their buffers are empty, then they'll start sucking oil from here. Meanwhile, well, we're just going to keep, you know, Filling up the tank. Uh, in fact, you're about to empty. You're also going to run out of gravel. Is there another dumper I don't know about? Uh, yes, this guy. So you're leaving a little bit too late. We're not quite getting the gravel here in time. Yeah. Yeah, we just need to deliver it to be a little bit a little bit more often i can always do something about it like i could well technically if we have construction waste coming in here i could just turn that directly into gravel and use that as a source as well but it's probably not going to be enough but with you dropping off gravel we can now see we're back in, in and running and well this is counting up and down and up and down but it, it's counting that's the important thing uh meanwhile we have uh you we can now run into at high priority I'm going to also temporarily... Nope, we still need other things dropped off. So we're doing the steel framing, and then we're going to have to install the electrical machines, probably. So you just need a little bit more work, and then you should be done, and then we should have, well, the gas power plant up and running. In saying that, we've got 150 work days, we've got four cranes on site, and, well, the workers don't really have anything else to do, so all the bosses are going to be bringing workers here. And now I need another shipment of steel and electronic components, which hopefully uh, you are doing electronic components and you're doing 6% steel and you're going to be doing 100% steel. Yep. So we now have those materials. They're being shipped here. They're not here yet, but they're being shipped here, which is something. But I also uh, actually want to come look at this really quickly. Uh... 
I have been, whilst we've been waiting, just going through and graveling whatever roads I possibly can. Of oh, this is going to give us better fire coverage. Our fire coverage is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not great, but it's not bad. We have some fire coverage. Some. Uh, but what I want to do whilst we wait for this to go in is I do want to start another construction project. Well, I've already started the construction project. Project Construction project is done. But this is going to be our reconstruction office. So we're going to rename you. We're going to say like, uh, with the caps the other way, uh, recon office. Because... If we look at two, two, two overlays and we look at buildings wear and tear, anytime something gets up to 50%, like this one is currently, it needs to go through reconstruction. We can see we've got a whole lot of zeros in here because they've just gone through reconstruction. And if we look at our main construction crew, uh, these guys, and I sort through their list, we can see, well, currently they only have one thing on reconstruction. But generally I have these guys building. They, I don't generally give them, you go live there. I don't generally give them a lot of downtime because I don't give them a lot of downtime. They don't get to the reconstruction projects. And when we go into reconstruction, we have a couple of problems. When it comes to housing, well, the happiness goes down. It's literally, there's this construction happening right outside your bedroom window. You can imagine how unhappy they would be. But if we look at you, we're into 40%. Uh, can I put you into reconstruction mode? So when I put you in a reconstruction mode, the productivity of the building goes down, which could be very problematic for some buildings. Uh, assign reconstruction there. So what I want to do is I want to have a dedicated office, this little one here, that all it does is reconstruction. So to do that, I want to grab some sources. Uh, we're going to go to here. We're going to copy the sources to there so you know where to get everything from. Then I wanted to do some changing. So uh, obviously I happen to have gravel way closer, so we're going to use that. Uh, asphalt comes from the border, concrete comes from the border, steel bricks, prefabs, and boards all come from all the way down there. Just because they can, you know, I could change them to somewhere else, but it'll do. Uh, and then this is going to need a certain amount of vehicles, a certain type of vehicles, a certain set of vehicles. First off, open hulls. Uh, actually, we might steal some existing. So uh, can I grab open hulls? Uh, one one two three they're the three old ones uh i'm gonna need construction crane can i get one of those can i also grab uh dumpers i'm gonna get a we're around town ah crap one of you left okay we're gonna have to do this straight away one two three and a crane uh can i get you to move to here uh you to here uh, you to here and you to here okay so it's going to give us three construction vehicles plus it's going to give us a crane uh on top of that we're going to need a bus for actually doing reconstruction i'm going to go with total capacity and we're going to get another ksm 11 because it's not a bad idea uh because we're going to need to put workers on site i also need to crank this up to 3000 and i don't want you to auto search well, actually, the chance we're doing any construction within 3,000 meters is pretty slim. It's going to happen. Actually, you've just changed color. So, uh, perfect. Reconstruction. Okay, if I open the reconstruction window, you need to have, well, work days, uh, steel, boards, bricks. You're also possibly going to need concrete. Uh, if I open you, uh, you need concrete. So, I need a concrete mixer as well. Uh, we have a couple of concrete mixers. Uh, we're going to go grab two of you and we're going to park you here and i'm going to park you here as well and then i'm going to need to buy two replacements and the reason buying replacements is concrete mixes uh total capacity we now have the je 300 compared to our little t138 these do 10 tons these do 13 tons they're also slightly faster so we're going to get the newer ones for our new construction office and then well we'll put the crappy ones in the old one uh what's your problem control h no you're having an issue parking or you're parked and you don't realize it okay uh so you're gonna need a crane we're gonna need a couple of open halls a couple of mixes i'm gonna also need a covered hall uh that's the mz do you have any of the old ones no uh how about 
the new offices. Uh, can I get a MZ, MZ, there we go. Uh, no, that's an open hole. Uh, did I put them over here? I did. Can I? Nope, that's an MZ as well. Uh, they're all open, covered, uh, covered, 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 open. Okay, so in that case, can I go to one of these guys? You are one of the old-fashioned type. We're going to move you to here as well, because any time I need to do uh, machine replacement, that's going to need mechanical mechanical components. I think that's right. Uh, covered hole. Uh, total capacity is that one. Um, that's going to need mechanical components. So, like, any time these go down, they need uh, both wear and tear on the building itself, also on the machinery. So, we can see this is 0%. Obviously, this has just been done. You're at 16%. You're at... 0%, you've just been done. 0% and 0%. So this, oh, actually, what about you? 14%, uh, you have machines as well, you have machines as well. So anytime we have uh, machines, we're gonna need a covered hole to carry around their, their components. All right, so we can see we have a building. It needs some stuff delivered. It all looks like it's been delivered and you're now happy. But normally reconstruction happens at 50%. What I actually want to do is I want to... There's some high voltage lines. Uh, they're the ones that are not set to build yet. Suspend construction. Uh, well, technically it could be built, I guess. Yeah, I I'm not worried about them. We want them eventually but not right now. All right, uh, what I want to do for this construction office is I actually want to set the replacement of items at 40%, which is probably going to flag a whole bunch of stuff. And because... I can turn that off and that off. Because you guys just do reconstruction, hopefully you can get your you know, get through this list reasonably quickly. Uh, now, do reconstruction in progress. Uh, what am I... I'm curious if it affects you. Uh, operating without issue. So your wear and tear was at 49%. So you're gonna go into reconstruction sooner or later. But until they start delivering things, it doesn't actually go into reconstruction mode and have that productivity drop. And that's hopefully not gonna happen until, well, they start dropping off stuff. Yeah. Uh, but I want to try and make sure that, yes, we keep the productivity nice and high. We replace things more often. Also means if things catch on fire, there's a higher chance the building doesn't fall down. Because that's pretty important. All right. As for you, you should be built. You are built. Okay. We have oil here. You are full. What I want to do is... And you are filling up with oil. So we're actually producing more oil than we're consuming, which is very, very good. But what I want to do is I want to come in here. I want to use priorities. So I want to make sure that oil into our power plant is high priority. I want to make sure oil into chemicals is medium priority. And then the leftover oil is going to go out output number two, which won't light up for me. But it's going to be this one right in front of us that is going to eventually go to an oil refinery, but which you haven't built yet. Meanwhile, you should have a crap ton of oil. And... You only need 15 workers. It's not really a big, long work day. But you should be out putting power to here, which... Can we bring up some overlays, please? Uh, can we with megawatts? So we can see we're producing 17, 18 megawatts. 17 is technically the maximum. Uh, but, you know, sometimes we can go a little bit over. It can directly... If I could just hold you. It can directly provide power to different buildings. So we should be doing, you know, 18 megawatts worth of power. Uh, you're not feeling with trash, are you? No, okay. You're pumping that power under there. Now, we can see by the yellow. Yellow is where most of the power is going. Green is where a little bit of power is going. So, yellow-wise, we're pumping 14 megawatts directly over the border, which also means economy and trade. Uh, let's go with this year. Uh, import. Up until now, we've been importing power. I've basically just put a dead-end halt to that. Uh, so, last year, we did 50,000 rubles on just power alone. This year, it's going to be 14,000. It will go up a little bit, and I'll explain that in a minute, but eventually, we'll be importing nothing. Uh, and then export, or an exporting power. Now, power, you do not make, make a lot of. Like, I'm making half a ruble 
every megawatt worth of power. But we can pump out a lot of megawatts worth of power for a little bit of oil. All right, uh, our overlays, uh, power-wise, we're then pumping some of the power over to here. When it hits here, it's coming in this switch. This is uh, connection number one, which is a high priority. Uh, connection number two is to our U, uh, which obviously has nothing to burn. That's unfortunate. I could really do with you having something to burn right about now. You prove a point, but you're not being helpful. All right. Uh, so the incinerator is going to be number two and then input connection number three comes from here, which we're going to set to low priority because I shouldn't need to import any power whatsoever. Uh, we're still doing a megawatt and I don't know why. Can I cut you back? Let's stop. Okay. You're set to 18. Now it's working fine. Mm, yes. Okay. So, uh, we're now doing probably, well, we can see 14 megawatts here, 12 megawatts here, whatever it happens to be. The rest of it's coming over here, which is about 6 megawatts, which will be, in the theory, still just this. Oh, no, you have 2 megawatts coming out as well. That's nice. That'll help. All right, so we're going to bring that into here. Uh, maybe I set that to medium. You don't really want you to say anything. Okay, it's back down to zero. Perfect. All right. Um, so we're going to bring the power in here. Now, from here, I have, well, most of my megawatts are coming onto, well, the very next substation and going on fourth. As for this one, this one has a tiny bit of power being this little power pole run out here that was the very first run we did in the town to this substation so this substation is technically directly connected to the border so if i change this from import well if i just change this to zero uh instantly you're going to power down which is going to leave me an issue over here so i can't do that i need to keep you powered for right now i'm going to set it to 18 megawatts mainly as a backup in theory, we don't need 18 megawatts. We should never need 18 megawatts. But if we end up with some sort of situation where we end up with an oil shortage and you don't have oil for a little while, well, then our import from the border will kick in automatically. Yeah. Um, I don't like the fact that you're saying 2 megawatts. Like, it really doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're paying half a ruble. We're getting 45. 0.45. Yeah. Um, I think the only way to fix that would be... No, it's anticipated. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're now exporting uh, power. We're also, well, using our own, crude, uh, our own crude oil to make power. And you and you no longer need to buy oil from the border, which means more profits, more profits. I like my profits. But there's one other thing that I want to get to, and uh, we're going to have to go a lot more in depth in this one in the next episode, but when it placed at least. And that is, I don't know, a chemical plant, a... Oil refinery, that's the one. And we're going to flip you and dump you. Uh, here? Yeah, there. Okay. Uh, you don't need a fancy road. We're going to cancel your fancy road. You can have a fancy road later. Uh, for right now, you can have a dirt road. And I'm going to... assign the construction officers to help with all this. Yep, yeah, because there's an awful lot of it. Uh, also going to check... Yeah, we have 450 people that have nowhere to live. Uh, build that. And then I'm going to have them build this. Uh, we're going to set you to low priority. You can get done after all the reconstruction gets done. But we now have oil. We now have oil. We also need to, in the next episode, do something about a redundant power network. Because if this catches fire, technically I have no power, at least till the fire's put out. If it burns down entirely, I have serious problems. Uh, same goes with this one. If it burns down entirely, I have very, very serious problems. Uh, if it catches fire, I also have very, very serious problems. 
I want to avoid that. I really, really want to avoid that. I want to be in a situation where if things catch fire, it's not the end of the world. If they burn down, it's still not really the end of the world, but um, we'll be covering that and a whole lot more in the next episode. What I do need to say is I need to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the very next episode with more, well, from um, the Republic. Just please do me a favor, very important favor. Do not tell the NATO nations that we now have oil. All right, that's it. Wrap. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.